news. And TB Therapeutics announces successful phase 2B gastrointestinal safety study for lead pain drug ATB346. Since this news happened and our group found it first, Rich TV Live members found this first, people. ATE on the TSX Venture, ATBPF on the OTCQB. We found it first. Our members found it first. They brought it to our group. Members bought it on Friday. Look what happened today after they halted the stock. Here it is. Up 72% traded 14,759,000 shares on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange and TB Therapeutics. This is breaking news. It is pleased to announce that its lead drug, ATB346, met its preliminary endpoint in the Phase B gastrointestinal GI safety study. The double-blind study was conducted in 244 healthy volunteers and was designed to demonstrate the superiority of ATB346 in GI safety compared to naproxen, the most prescribed non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug and said in the United States of America. This is huge. This is breaking news. And you heard it here first, live on Rich TV Live. Nobody else on the planet brought you this information first. Look at it, people. This is huge. A-T-E. A-T-B-P-F. Let's take a look at the American symbol. While everything else is tanking, Facebook is down. Let's look at some green. The green machine at only 46 cents in America. And 75 cents. Oh, up 75% in Canada at 63 cents. And you're telling me they have the potential to take some of the market share from the naproxen client base? This is huge news. This is breaking news. And you heard it here first. Subjects on ATB 346 exhibited an uncertain an ulceration rate of 2.5% versus an ulceration rate of 42.1% for subjects on naproxen at the end of a two-week treatment period. Wow! This is breaking news. This is revolutionary. This is huge. And you heard it here first. Thanks to the people bringing the winners. The people keep bringing the winners, guys. It's you, the people, that keep bringing the winners. That's right, ATE on the Toronto Stock Exchange Venture Exchange and ATBPF on the OTCQB. I love this deal. I love the Richaholics. Without you guys, none of this is even possible. This is huge. I didn't even buy it. Members within my group bought it and made over $5,000 in two days. This is the power of the people. So if you have a drug that just passed phase 2B, preliminary endpoint, and there's an ulceration rate of 2.5% versus 42.1%, in the subjects what do you think this means for this company long term is it still a buy right now or what do you think this news just came out and we broke it first so i mean everybody has to remember rich tv live is strictly for education entertainment purposes we are not licensed advisors
I cannot guarantee it's going to go up or it's going to go down, but do your research. We're bringing you the news so you guys can do your own due diligence. Look at this news. What do you think? With a very high degree of statistical significance, ATB 346 was also safe and well tolerated. NTB's chief scientific officer, John Wallace, commented, the successful outcome of this study is the accumulation of 15 plus years of scientific research and validates NTB's hydrogen sulfide releasing technology. Gastrointestinal safety has been a major global concern. Phone's blown off the chain, guys. I, I don't know what to tell you. Has been a major global concern with NSAIDs for decades, and we now have clinical data unequivocally demonstrating a solution to this unmet and serious medical problem. Subjects received either 250 milligrams of ATB 346 once daily, a dose previously shown to be very effective in reducing osteo osteoarthritis associated pain or 500 milligrams of naproxen twice daily. The primary endpoint for the study was the incidence of gastric or duodenal duodenal ulcers of at least 3 millimeters diameter with unequivocal depth considered the gold standard in, ex in assessing the GI safety of NSAIDs. The number... Uh, guys, I'm just reading this off the presses, okay? <laughs> I apologize if I'm butchering it. But I'm trying to bring you guys the news first. The number of subjects that developed ulcers while on treatment with ATB-346 was 3 out of 118 compared to 53 out of 126. Essentially, taking this medicine is going to reduce ulcers from 40% to 3% with this medicine. Versus being treated with naproxen. This is remarkable. This result was achieved with an impressive level of statistical significance. In addition, the incidence of elevated liver transaminases in the ATB346 group was consistent with our expectations and the incidences associated with commonly prescribed NSAIDs. The study was conducted by Topstone Research Limited, Topstone in Toronto, Canada, a detailed summer summary of the clinical trial results, including secondary endpoints, will be available for release in Q2 of 2018. This extraordinary result exceeded our expectations for ATB 346, remarked Dan LeJolt, NTB's CEO. So, what do you think about this news? You think this is a winner? Let's take a look at the stock and see how it's reacting to the news. Now up 75% in Canada. Is this a triumph? Up 72% in America. What do you think? Look at the bids. They're growing as we speak. Let's see what the news says. With human proof of concept GI safety data now in hand, NTB will continue its regional licensing discussions and will now engage global pharmaceutical firms to support our objective of reaching a partnering event for the major markets. This is directly on their website, the antibatheria.com website, NTB Therapeutics, Inc., Brought to you first by Rich TV Live. Brought to you by the people, the members, the Richaholics. This 
is huge. NTB will continue its regional licensing discussions and will now engage in global, that's right, global pharmaceutical firms to support our objective of reaching a partnering event for the major markets. In parallel, we will conduct our placebo-controlled dose raging and effectiveness study with a data readout expected in Q4 2018. As well, we will accelerate development of NTB's other novel NSAIDs, including ATB352, a non-addictive analgestic for the treatment of severe pain that addresses the global opioid crisis. Wow. This is a company on the rise this is revolutionary. This is Rich TV Live bringing the news and bringing the news first. And what this does is it's going to reduce the ulcers from 42% to 2.5%. This is revolutionary. And we brought it to you first. Look at the way the markets are responding to the news. This stock was halted first thing in the morning. And once it was released, we saw gains of upwards of 80%. It's come back down. It's still up 72% in America, ATBPF, and 75% in Canada. What do you think? Is it a winner? Please, if you like this video, smash that like button. And if you like this pick, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's a winner? Do you think it has more upside potential based on what I just read and the news? I think it's a big winner. And I think it's going one place. And that's up. And you heard it here first from your boy Rich. All right. I'm back to do more due diligence. I'm actually about to just edit my top 10 marijuana stocks for 2018. So get ready. It's coming soon. This is your boy Rich. Remember, if you're not winning, you're not watching. Because all I do is bring you winners. I'm out. Peace.